Here we're going to have two lines. We have two equations and we're going to draw two lines and then we can solve, meaning see where the two lines intersect to give us our single values for those uh, x and y. So what we have are already in slope intercept form, y equals negative x plus 4, great. And then we also have 2y minus 4x equals 2. So we do want to solve this for slope intercept form first, and then we can draw both of them and compare. So if we do that, we just uh, we have to move this to the other side. So that gives us 2y equals 4x uh, plus 2. And then we divide both sides by 2 to give us y equals 2x plus 1. So we have these two equations that we're going to draw, and then we can solve. OK, great. Let's start with this one. We have a slope, uh, sorry, a y-intercept of 4. So we cross the y-intercept right here at y equals 4. And then we have a slope of negative 1, which means it's going to cross. It's going to be a downward slope, and it's going to cross at the same value for x. So we can go ahead and use this point down here. So there's one line, and now we have this line as well. Uh, slope is 2, y-intercept is 1. So we have our y-intercept here at 1, and then a slope of 2. So we're going to go up at this angle, sort of like this. So up 2 and over 1. So something like that. And I think it crosses right about there. So we have y-intercept of 1, slope of 2, 1, 2, and then over 1. And it looks to be like it's right about at 1, 1, 2, 3. So this point is our solution, 1, 3. We can check this algebra algebraically as well. It could be a little bit rough. So let's just check it really quickly and see if that makes sense. What we can do is we can do it a number of different ways. We can set these equal to each other, solve for x, and then we can solve for y in either one of the equations. All right, so if we set these two y's equal to each other, we have negative x plus 4 equals 2x plus 1. So if we put all the x's on the same side, we have negative 3x, and then we put all the numbers on the same side. We have 4 over here equals 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Divide both sides by negative 3 gives us x equals 1. So already that makes sense. We have x is 1 here. Now if we plug that into either one of these equations, we can see what the y value is going to be. If we plug in x is 1 to this one, we see we have y equals negative 1 plus 4. So y equals 4 minus 1, which is 3. So great. This does make sense. It works out after all. This is our solution, 1 comma 3.